Hey y'all, let's check out Dreaming Hollow Cemetery. Hey y'all, so today we're looking around the Dreaming Hollow Cemetery. So this space today is definitely going to be for my occult and a little bit morbid lovers as well as the goth heads. So this is a beautiful cemetery. I'm um, brought to us by the Nature Collective, so of course you know we have lots of nice things in store. So as you walk around this cemetery, there are going to be so many different spaces that you can go into, so many different enchanted um, caskets and mausoleums and things like that for you to definitely be able to enjoy. So I'm just going to take you guys around a couple of them today. So many different hidden treasures and hidden rooms. You'll definitely never get bored venturing around here. So although this space is of course a bit morbid because it is a cemetery, it definitely has a very nice type of enchanted cemetery type feel to it. The different spaces that they have created were just, are just so special. So in this space, this is one of the um, hidden spaces. I'm using quotes as though you guys can see me and you cannot. So you're going to have to find it, you guys. I'm not going to tell you exactly where it is. And I purposely didn't show you how to get here because I want you to venture around and find it yourself. That's one of the beauties of Second Life, especially when they have hidden rooms. So this room really gave me like super duper occult vibes and, you know, I think the pictures would be really nice. This is also a, would be a really nice place to visit for like Halloween if you're into stuff like that. So I like how they have like these desks here. It's like if you want to act like you're like studying um, spells and things like that, they give you that um, those different type of things that you can do here. So I really enjoyed it. So let's go ahead and do a quick outfit check. So I kept it really simple today because I did want to have the lighting on the land a bit dark simply because it's a cemetery, you guys, you know. So nothing major. Peep the shoes. Love the shoes. Red bottoms, yeah, because they don't hurt your feet in Second Life. I really enjoyed how everything that you want to be like, oh, can I go up here? You can. Can I go around here? You can. So I really did like that. I like that it's always more to see um, on this land. So if there's any advice that I could give you on this land, it would be to click it. If you think you can probably click it, try it out and there's a good chance that you probably will be able to click it. I love how this land, although it is a cemetery, although it does give goth and a bit of morbid, you know, I love that it also has a whimsical, like enchanted vibe to it, almost like a magical space. And that is something that definitely will make you want to continue to explore. Like I said, everything leads to something else. So don't think that just because it kind of looks like it's nothing more, walk and you'll find more. I really hope my videos make you guys really kind of want to venture out and explore Second Life even more. I found so many cool spaces and places at this cemetery. I just definitely wanted you guys to check it out and just see all that I can find and just see how much you can find too. So you guys, there's definitely so much more to see and do here and I definitely hope you guys check it out. The landmark will be in the description box below. So as always, if you guys like this video, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.